Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be another episode of Roush Creek, and we're going to be meeting up with Justin, Kyle, and Micah, and we're going to have a great day today. Today is actually a Land Cruiser event that's going on at Roush Creek, so hopefully it won't be too packed, but I think we're going to be okay because it's such a big park and we can go pretty much anywhere we want. Um, on one of the groups that I'm on, a stock JLU Rubicon is going to be joining us as well. He's meeting us at Roush Creek, so that's going to be pretty interesting to see how a stock Rubicon will perform on blue trails. So it's nice to meet someone new in the off-roading group as well um, and have somebody different come with us and somebody, somebody with a stock vehicle, so to say, not that's lifted or on 35s, uh, see how it performs going to the trails that we go to. It's about 6.20 on this Saturday morning. It's gonna be about 90 degrees today, so it's a little too much for my liking, but I think we're still gonna make a great day out of it and we're gonna produce some more off-road content for you guys. I'm going to throw in a little hint though. This is going to be probably the last episode before I bring another mod in for you guys. So I teamed up with a company. Um, I'm not going to give you away any details yet, but I think you guys are going to be really happy with what's coming. So please stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and let's get to Roush Creek. Here we are guys. As always, it's nice to see the sign that we've arrived. As you can tell, all the Jeeps in these lines are trail guides. So it's gonna be uh, pretty crowded today. And then you got a bunch of Land Cruisers and Forerunners. There is an event going on today. It's CMCC, I think it's Coal Mine Cruisers Club, I believe it's called. Um, so many old school ones, I love it. So the park is definitely packed today, but I aired down. We uh, are down to 15 pounds in the tires. I told you guys that every trip that I take, I'm gonna start airing down a little more each time. Just I'm, get, I'm getting comfortable with it because I'm not used to, you know, always airing down to like 12 pounds or 10 pounds. But I under, my understanding is when you have bead locks, you can go as low as eight pounds. Um, but Without B locks, I heard it's like 12. So we're gonna stay at 15 for now, see how that goes. If I need to air down a little more, I will. But we're good to go. We're waiting for Justin and we're gonna get going here. I switched over to the GoPro um, because I have the 85 millimeter lens on my A7 III. And we're hitting the A trail, which is a green trail until Justin gets here. He's a little bit behind schedule. Um, so he's got about another hour to go, but we got the stock JLUR straight ahead of us, and then Mike is in front of him leading because he is pretty much more of a ride height with him, so he knows his limitations on what we got. But we got the first drop here on this green trail, so. trails I mean this one's not that bad but some of these green trails are actually looks like it's a blue to me especially some of these mud holes and uh, water passings are pretty deep it's pretty shocking to me that they're listed as greens but it's always a great time so fun little fact about this trail this was the trail that we came down uh, it was our first winter trip last year it was like end of December um, and we started obviously at the top coming down this way not going started sliding um, and my cruiser started to go sideways and thankfully one of these big rocks stopped me and it's when Kyle winched me up so I feel like if I would have 
continued down this slope when it was completely ice, I probably would have flipped my cruiser and that would have been the end of this uh, 81 build. So I'm kind of glad that I stopped when I did and were able to live another day and feel this cruiser. So that's just a little fun fact that I wanted to share with you guys. Another thing that I want to add to the vlog is that the Slinky Stage 4 suspension is absolutely awesome. Um, since we're doing some green trails, I could actually talk and still um, off-road with these guys. And I just want to let you know that it absorbs everything phenomenally. Like, my previous suspension, obviously, most of it was blown. It was a nightmare. Every little drop and every little rock would make it seem like it would make my body hurt. But with the Slinky Stage 4, man, these shocks with the external reservoirs and the springs on these things are great and I love it and it makes everything that I hit and take on relatively smooth so I'm very grateful that I was able to get this kit and Endless Horizon Outfitters obviously was the one that made this happen so again it's this thing is just absolutely awesome I love this 80 series and that turbo diesel is just wow, the sound it gets me every time currently at Crawler's Ridge so we came out from that side and now we're currently looking how we're gonna approach this. Mike has done this before. I have not. So Stock Jail UR is gonna see how he's gonna approach this. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I might be able to get close enough to it to not, not sweat it. Let's we'll say if you put your tire right in here. Yeah. Or even on, on top of the rock yeah, right I'm there. Yeah, I'm thinking on there. If you don't want to Because if you, yeah, you need to get your tires higher up on yeah, this guy. So your diff doesn't. Yep. Other than that, though, it doesn't seem like no, it's. No, it's going to be a traction game at that point. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Once your I feel like I think once your tire hooks on this first drop right here, if you keep bouncing, that's when you got to stop. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna be a traction game. I mean, at least you have lockers. Yep. But other than that, it's Everything not terribly good. bad. So you're just gonna go back around and dump back out. What you're thinking? I was, or you want to go down the other side? I was. I, I don't think. I can't remember if I'm going down the other side. This comes back around and goes down, and then this way I think there's Yeah, I was going to say, because this is a very, very tight opening here. So whoever's coming up this trail is definitely putting their tire up. Looks like they're getting it right there. Or there, yeah. yeah. I was going to say right there where Mike is at. And right, and right here, here. Because you're not fitting a vehicle through here. <laughs> so you said this is labeled as a blue. Uh, I'm pretty certain that Crawler Ridge, the trail itself... But you gotta also think a lot of these trails will have multiple obstacles on them. Yeah, I was gonna say this they portion. They aren't labeled. This portion I feel like is a has got to be a black. Yeah. That on that side I can understand the one uh, on that I side that we're probably gonna tackle. Call this one a red with the size of these these undercut. That undercut down there is crazy, man. Yeah. So that one on that side that we're probably gonna attempt is a blue. Uh, this is way out of our league, right, and I'm definitely here. not even gonna think about trying this. We're trying to see how we can get back down once we get back up Crawler's Ridge on that side. Got some passerby, so it's actually not that deep. I thought it was going to be worse. It's actually not that bad. It smells great though.
All right, so Micah is the first one at Crawler's Ridge. So he's gonna give this a whirl. He said a while ago when it was his first time coming to Roush Creek, his buddies tricked him into doing this trail. Uh, nice. How was your diff? Your tire. You're almost in. The, are you trying to be in the hole? That hole that we saw earlier? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to pop this rock. Dude. Yeah, you're right there. So you okay. just got you got to give it. You got to give it with the car on. <laughs> you're right on it. There you go. You got to bump it. Look at that. Making it look easy. There you go. Boom. Cake. Let me get out of the way for that one. Just give it. Uh, I guess not. I don't like that path. Um, give it hard, hard driver. Nope, never mind. Straight, straight. Yeah, there you go. Try it. Just give it, give it a bump. Yep. Boom. There you go, Mike is up. So the stock JLUR is coming up now. Let's see how he does. We already ran this line before, obviously in the last clip, so he has a pretty good idea of where he wants to end up. Look at that. Yeah, I was gonna say you might want to. You, you. Come straight. Where did you want to end up again? Did you want to end up on the corner of the rock there? There's a rock over there. No, the rock in the middle is the only one I'm worried about. Did I just get on it? Yeah. Just the Slowly. Your diff's gonna hit right. Well, come come up a little bit. Come come up just a little bit. Slowly. Nope. You're gonna hit right. You're hitting already. Your bumper's already hitting. Cause even if you put, you might have to bring your tire up on the big rock here. You're gonna have to back up. You're on the rock, yeah. yeah. Straighten out. There you go. Straight. Look at that. There's a tree on that side that you're probably touching just a bit. There you go. Straighten it out. Look at that. Man, look at those lockers working. Made that look easy. And a stock jail you are, look at that. Cake. <laughs>
come this way a little bit. So this is pretty much the exit for Crawler Ridge, the one we just all went up. This is, just watch that tree on your right. Slow, you're good though. You got about six, in, you got about 10 inches there. Yep, you're good. Man. That was a decent drop. Yeah, it was. Dude, he made it look crazy, man. I, it well, th I, this this rut right here, that's what's making it a lot worse. Just watch your drop in the rear. Yeah, I'm sleeping, I thought. It's gonna probably tap your rear bumper, honestly. No, not my new bumper. Oh, uh, just a kiss. Just a kiss. Yeah, watch the big rock on your drivers. You got plenty of room passenger too. You got plenty of room passenger as well. Perfect. There you go, it's nice and slow. Man, when you lift this thing and put bigger tires on it, dude, this thing will be unstoppable. It'll be, it'll be a beast. About, you're about to drop. Keep it straight. There you go. I think you're good if you keep swinging. Wait, wait, wait. You got a big rock on that, on your back rear. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, you're good. Now hard this way. Once I came up going, I was like, okay, that makes me feel better. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, take that. everything look easy ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got my feet <laughs> 
We are back in the parking lot and look who decided to join us. We got Justin. Yeah. Is out here with his XJ. He pretty much will beat anything up on the trails. I gotta get on his level at some point, but again, Justin the man is here. We got Micah and the stock jail you are. So we completed a couple of trails so far, which was awesome. We're gonna head back and do blue trails now that Justin's here. He knows this park like the back of his hand, so he's most likely gonna be leading us and he usually never has a problem with that. And again, in the last video I did not include but where he broke his axle and replaced the axle on the trail. It took about 25 minutes, which was really, really awesome. Um, but we're taking a five minute break, some water, a snack, and we're gonna head right back on the trails. Check this beast out. I mean, I could see why it's not on the trails, but wow. What a beautiful, beautiful ride. Nicely modded. Again, I can tell why it's not out there. The paint on this thing is immaculate. Gotta love these things. Maybe one day I'll get to own one, but I love my 80 series. And honestly, wouldn't trade it right now, but this thing is probably worth huh, 40, maybe north of 40,000, I'm sure. to drop plenty of room
So we just took the uh, flex zone again, which was pretty fun. Stock JLUR didn't really want to partake in it because he's got kids in the car and a Hello? baby, so. Hey, what's up? But we all made it through. I actually made it through with no direction this time. So I was pretty happy with that. She's performing great. And let's move on and see what else is next. I see you're not trying to get hung up there. <laughs> I started scraping, I was like, well, I know how to get around this one. Yep. Is that good? That was like awesome. That one. That one. She didn't like it as much as I did. <laughs> Dude, look at that. See, that's goals right there, guys. Not one, but two. Two old FJs, man. With a giant steering wheel, I love it. Oh. Yep, GoPro's going. This, this hill right here does not do justice on the camera, by the way. Like a champ. Like a champ. Kind of. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. It looks like it's flat on the camera. You really can't tell, honestly. Heading back towards the main office to drop the JLUR off, and then we're gonna continue on some blue and black trails. We'll probably do topless for tatas and the crawling for cops trail. So that's gonna be interesting because last time we did crawling for cops, um, we had to bounce because Mike was broken. So it's gonna be fun. There we go. Steep incline. So this is a black trail. I'm gonna do a walkthrough real quick. Justin said it's not bad. So I just wanna take a peek and see what it's like first. It's a little tight here. You got this tree stump in the way. Climb over that. Oh my. Holy cow. Yeah, rocks. I don't mind them, but too much of them like this is uh oh man why'd i walk through it i should have just done it so i decided against that because it just seemed like the rocks were never gonna end um and decided just to take the greenway back to the office because a the jail you are has to leave and two I think my body's taking enough beating today. So I'm gonna save that for uh, topless for tatas and the crawling for cops trail. I almost fell right there. I think I should try this. Justin, Justin right here said, if it has a name, has a name. Stay out of it. you should probably stay out of it. But looking at this, it makes you want to try it, but I'm not going to because number one, I don't have one of those. And number two, 
the pond down there looks to be pretty deep. I don't even think I'm worried. I'm not even worried about the incline. It's more so the pond down there. We can take a walk down so I can show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to try not to fall here. See, I keep telling myself that I'm not going to wear sneakers every time I come and I end up wearing sneakers. So this is called Winch Hill. It's a blue trail. I mean, I'm sure it was listed as a blue trail, I guess, when they when this trail was made, but I mean, I don't know. It could be a black now, depending how deep this pond might be. That's probably pretty deep, right? Well, <laughs> well, that didn't work. That didn't work, fail. So yeah, I'm not looking at getting stuck right now. So this will kind of give you a perspective as to how deep, or how deep, how steep this hill is. But again, we are all wondering how deep that is. I stuck a log on the side and it didn't go down. It only went down a few inches, but I think the middle of that is definitely gonna be really deep. And I don't wanna find out after I start going through it. Until next time, wind chill. Until next time. So, I just met this guy. He's from Queens, New York. Um, he was rolling by, about to leave the park, and he stops and makes a U-turn and comes park next to my car. And I was like, oh, he probably wants a picture with it. He gets out of the car and he's like, hey, I've seen this car online. Um, and I was probably gonna say it's Toyota Land Cruiser Association because that's a group that I post quite often in and that was it So we were talking kicking stuff and he was here for the the uh, coal mine cruiser classics event That I was talking about earlier. So it was pretty nice met, met a new guy and uh, you know new uh, Land Cruiser. Yeah, his was a Lexus uh, I can't remember if it's a LX uh, 450 I believe he said it was so just identical to mine, but Alexis. I mean, seriously, I love these old school FJs. They're so awesome. So we're giving way for another group coming um, in the opposite direction. So looks like we've got an old school FJ uh, Tacoma, I believe, and another 80 series Land Cruiser. So, so freaking cool. Here comes the 80 series. See, it looks like he's rocking the ARB bumper, which let me know what you guys think if you could see it with the GoPro. I've always liked it, but I'm not sure if I really, really, really want it though. He's gonna walk right up. I couldn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs>
So that was pretty awesome. Micah recorded it for me, but it may not look like a steep decline, like I said, but it really was. And I'm glad I got to make it down. This was the first time I got to do the crawling from Crops Trail. Um, I didn't get to do it last time because I didn't have my suspension kit installed. Um, and I don't think I would have made it down because there, there are a ton of big drops. And again, this we're going up this steep one now. It doesn't really do much justice as far as just walking up and showing you guys, but this is definitely, what is this labeled as, a blue or a black? Okay, so this is a blue. Yeah, it's pretty steep though, like again, the video will not do it justice, but Mike is coming up now. Check this out. We're on the crawling for cops trail, Kyle and Justin are over there. There's a pretty steep decline that was here. So this is considered like the blue slash black portion of it. Um, but I am just showing you guys the flex on the Land Cruiser, which is pretty awesome. Nice sliders Mikey made and the suspension by Slinky. Again, brought to you by Endless Horizon Outfitters. This thing is freaking awesome. I gave you guys that nice flex now. So we're gonna walk. Apparently this is very steep. So I'm walking and I don't see the ground yet. And now I see the ground. So again, this does not do it any justice. I'm gonna try to get as low as possible here to kind of give you a view. But this is pretty much the trail to get off the top of the hill here at Crawling for Cops Trail. Um, I'm scratching my head, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna get down from here because there are a lot of steep declines and there's a lot of loose rock here. And I think the loose rock is what kind of gets you because you're braking, you're sliding, the rocks are sliding underneath your tires. Um, uh, so we'll see. Let's try to attempt this. I mean, there's only that's the only way to get out of here, so I got to go down this. So this should be able to give you a nice viewpoint of how steep this hill is. You could just see the tip of Justin's Cherokee, and I'm standing on a rock right here that I was trying to potentially move because it was like literally sticking straight up like an ice pick. But I'm going to keep walking down. This is nuts. I'm going to 
gonna move out of his way because I don't want to get destroyed. And there's more to come. I think this is a blue. I'll be quite honest with you. That was his diff. Well then. I guess it's gonna be my turn at some point, but good job, Justin. And I honestly think he busted the same axle that he did last Sunday. So he's rolling on pretty much three wheels. Stumps are right here on this tire, so yeah, you should be good because you're diff on that side. So headed back up the trail now um justin guided me down thank you very much justin 
honestly, watching him, my heart was pounding. And then I got behind the wheel and went down it, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but definitely a challenging trail. Um, the rocks slide with you, so it makes it for a rough time, and you're not really sure which way you might be going when the rocks slide underneath your tires. So now we got Micah going, and I'm gonna get him here from up top, and you got Justin at the bottom guiding him down. Definitely a challenging trail though, and I'm, I'm real happy for, for all of us pretty much completing it. Micah did this before, um, so this would be a second time. This was definitely my first time doing it. You're gonna be on the tree stumps, about a foot, right there. Over the tree, now you're in it. Right over the second set of tree stumps. Drop. Tree stumps. Tree stumps. Drop. All right. Pay attention to Justin. See, that's what I'm talking about. on the brake and it's just sliding. When you watch that rear suspension unsettle, it definitely makes your heart pound. That was his diff. Awesome job, man. Just, Just like that. <laughs> yeah, man. I saw the rear left, the driver's side left on settle, dude. And I just saw the top end just go that way. These tires came, or these, these rocks right here came up and then went boom. Yeah, that's definitely uh, uneasy for the driver. I mean, like I said, I think my heart's pounding more watching somebody go down than actually going down. So on to the next part of this I'm gonna call this a black trail. Um, so this is a crawling for crawling for cops decline black trail on the way out of here. So this next portion I think is actually harder than this decline because the rocks there are a lot bigger. So you have to actually think about where you're putting your tires at um, and not just you know pretty much slide down a hill. So Justin's gonna guide me and Mike is gonna be behind me making sure that I take the right line because I could easily smack my diff on one of those rocks up there. That one dead in that like that control arm that you're uh, is hitting on as well. I had to stop my video because I got stuck on my front control arm, radius arm, J arm, whatever you want to call it. This one is definitely a little challenging.
Nice. And just like that, we're all down. So that's the end of the Crawling for Crops trail. And again, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it's really steep. Like the top is all the way up there. So great work to everybody. Thanks Justin and Micah for spotting me because I definitely needed it. I mean, I, I even got hung up on my J arm. So that's how steep that was. So we're back at the main office. Um, that's pretty much gonna do it for today. It is 5.33, so it's been a really long day. We had a great time. Thank you again to Justin, and thank you again to Micah for being awesome friends, awesome off-roading friends as well, and we had a great day. We completed the Crawling for Cops trail, but I have to go home. I got some things to take care of, so next time we come out, we're gonna do the Topless for Tatas trail. That's a little bit harder than the crawling trail, so I'm excited to take that on. But for now, we're gonna turn it on to Justin and again this might not look like much on camera but you'll see the angle he takes up try this hill well, he's gonna try it so oh, he's, gonna tr he's putting that in there in he's case gonna he try it, it. <laughs> no confidence well don't you have a blown axle too yeah there you go so three wheel drive three wheel drive xj Look at that. Wow. Three wheel drive XJ. With wet tires nonetheless. Yeah, you're gonna have a drop down below. So if this doesn't tell you how steep the incline and decline is, then I don't know what will. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not trying that. Not without a front, not without a front bumper, or that. Like nothing. Look at that. So yeah, this was this is pretty steep. Hey guys it's gonna do it for this upload hope you guys enjoyed the content from today's off-road trip at roush creek um it definitely was fun it was four people then down to three um we had a blast i was able to complete the crawling for cops trail which i did not get to do last time which was an awesome accomplishment um i definitely underestimate this cruiser but i'm extremely happy that i got to test it out today on that trail um, again if you guys like this content please big thumbs up comment down below so i can talk to you guys share this content with other cruiser owners or other people that like off-road content and i'll see you guys in the next upload